Here we're going to look at a variation of a limiting reactant problem where we ask how much of the excess reactant remains after a reaction. We are going to build off the reaction that we were talking about in the previous section. So we are still running a reaction involving 50 grams of gallium and 40 grams of sulfur. And really what we're saying is how much of the non-limiting reactant is expected to remain. The first thing you want to do in this kind of question is to determine the limiting reactant. So we're not going to redo that calculation in the previous section. We have already determined that the limiting reactant is gallium. And now what we're going to use is a mole ratio from the chemical equation to find out if we use up all of our limiting reactant, which is gallium, how much of the other reactant will be used up. And then we will simply subtract this amount from the original amount of sulfur. And that will tell us how much sulfur remains. So we've already know that our limiting reactant is gallium, so that is a different calculation that we've already done. But now that I know that gallium is the limiting reactant, I then know that sulfur is an excess. When we're doing a calculation like this, remember we need to convert our grams of the limiting reactant to mole. So the units on this reaction are in moles. So the first step I need to do is take my limiting reactant and figure out how many moles of the limiting reactant I have. We were given 50 grams of gallium, the limiting reactant, I divide by the molecular weight of gallium, I get the number of moles of gallium. And then I say if I use up all of my gallium, how much of the other reactant is being used. So this says that there is a 2 to 3 mole ratio. For every 2 moles of gallium, I use up 3 moles of sulfur. So we use this to make a mole ratio. Remember the unit that you want to get rid of is on the bottom, the unit you want to obtain is on the top. We want to convert moles of gallium to moles of sulfur. So here there is a 3 to 2 ratio. And that says that if I use up all of my gallium, I will use up 1.08 moles of sulfur. I now want to find out how many grams of sulfur are being used. So I take the mole and multiply by the molecular weight of sulfur. So I know I'm using up 1.08 moles of sulfur during this reaction. I multiply by the molecular weight of sulfur, which I obtained off the periodic table. And this tells me if I use up all of my limiting reactant, gallium, I will use up 34.6 grams of sulfur. In the last step, remember the question is not how much sulfur will be used. The question is, is how much sulfur will be left over. So I told you in the original question that we were starting with 40.0 grams of sulfur. We now know that we use up 34.6 grams and that's what we calculated. So we expect 5.4 grams of sulfur to be left over.